Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, this first part of the tutorial is limited because we don't have long till it's still in the single digits. So I want to show you how to make the single digits for minutes double digits. So all you have to do is do an if statement and says if minutes is less than 10, minutes equals zero. We're going to make that a string actually, plus minutes. And there it is. So what that does is it checks if minutes is less than 10, which would be the only time that it would be a single digit. And if it is, it just puts a string of zero right there. You have to use this string because if you it, it just fits better. If you try to use the integer, it still just makes it zero. So then it doesn't show. Um, so you have to use the string there, but that works well. And you can see that makes that double digits. Okay, now let's work on this 24 hour time. So, a lot of people are versed enough to know um, the 24 hour time. And oh, look, it does it with the seconds too. So, let's fix the seconds. So, if seconds is less than 10, seconds equals 0 plus seconds. And we'll be able to check that one a bit sooner here. That's not so time sensitive, but... Okay, now let's look at the 24 hour deal here. So, what we want to do is we want to go if hours is greater than 12. Then what we want to do is we want to do um, hours equals hours minus 12. And there it is. So that fixed that. But you're going to run into an issue. Because what will happen is, is when it gets to um, 0, it's just going to say 0 instead of 12. So then what you need to do is we can do an else if here hours oops equals equals zero then hours equals twelve and there you go so that's how you can convert it from a 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock and also you can see we now we don't have to worry about the two digit minutes because we already fixed that and we also fixed the two digit seconds here so let's make sure that's working when it comes up here and there it is we're working with the two, two digit seconds as well and that's working as it should so now you made yourself a 12 hour clock instead of a 24 hour clock okay but there's one thing missing from our clock and what's missing is now that it's a 12 hour clock it's not going to be definitive if it's a.m. or p.m. So we want to check if it's a.m. or p.m. So there's a simple way to do this. Before we convert it to a 12-hour clock, what we can do is we can go up here and let's make another variable. We'll make a variable called get a or p. So then we can do if hours is greater than or equal to zero and Remember, that's how we do and hours is less than or equal to 12. Then get a or p equals am. Else get a or p equals pm. Now, let me explain what I just did here. So we're checking if hours is greater than or equal to zero because remember, we didn't, we're putting this code above above the code that converts it, right? So it's still checking in the 24 hour arena from up here. So, or in the 24 hour time zone from up here. So what we'll do is if hours is greater than or equal to zero. So basically what it's saying, if it's zero or it's greater than zero, and at the same time, it's less than or equal to 12. So then what that does is it checks if hours is equal to zero but if it is is it also 
less than or equal to 12. So if that's the case, then get A or P is going to equal AM. Otherwise, so that's else, you can basically say otherwise, get A or P equals PM. So then what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll go plus get A or P. And there you go. It's PM. So that is how you can make a 12 hour digital clock and have it show whether or not it's AM or PM. All right. Thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next video.